Today, I wanted to talk about uh, waiting upon the Lord. And again, waiting upon the Lord is a very special time of the year, or special time as we try to focus. Uh, when I was a young boy growing up in Hyderabad, uh, we wanted to come, and I used to wait upon for two things. Number one, it was a Christmas day. We would always be ready and waiting for the Christmas day to come so that we'll have time, a fun time getting together with family and friends, we wear new clothes, go to church, and all those nice, fancy Christmassy time. The second thing I would always wait upon or to be able to wait for my birthday, especially when the, when the month comes up, shows up, I would usually count my days and put an X mark and wait anxiously for my birthday to come. We always love to wait for different things. And again, today the Bible reminds us that we need to wait upon the Lord. Hunters wait for the kill. Patients wait for their doctor. Students, after writing exams, wait for the results. Maybe we go to travel, we wait for the bus, we wait for our train, we wait for our flight. And today we wanted to know the importance of waiting upon the Lord. And again, waiting is not about absent or not being actively participating, but rather actively seeking what God has in store for us. In the scripture passage that has been read to us in Acts chapter 1, between verses 1 to 5, we would read that Jesus Christ he was appearing or preparing his disciples, and then he gives uh, an instruction. He gives them a commandment. He gives them uh, a calling uh, to the disciples and say, and said to them, you wait. And then he's going to say that God is going to give us a gift. The Lord is going to give us uh, the, the presence of the Holy Spirit would be coming in the person of this uh, Holy Spirit. So again, uh, God reminder, God's word reminds us that we need to take time to wait upon the Lord. What does it mean to be wait upon the Lord? Do we do nothing? In the post-resurrection, Jesus was showing up to his disciples. He was explaining to them, empowering them, equipping them, building them, and, and able to motivate them. And then now Jesus calls his disciples, wait, wait upon the Lord. And wait, because as we are waiting, we wanted to know what we need to wait for. What are we expect? What do we anticipate? And I wanted to remind four important principles today from the scriptures. What does it mean to wait upon the Lord? What does it mean to wait upon the Lord? Please note that we are all coming live on, a jam, on webinar jam stream, and we are also on Facebook Live. If you're able to tune in there, and we are so delightfully welcome you to this experience. The first principle God is reminding us about waiting upon Him is that waiting on God positions you to receive the gift. We want, we need to position ourselves to receive the gift. Every time I I hear the word called gift. I'm anxious. I'm so uh, delightful to be able to see what type of a gift. Gift, what is a gift? Gift is something that one would receive. Gift with is something that you receive with no strings attached. You don't have to work for a gift. You don't have to pay for a gift. Gift is something that has been given to you at no charge. You don't need to do anything for it. What God is saying to us here today is God desires to give a gift to you. God desires to give a gift to your family. God desires to give a gift to your community and to a church and to ask God what type of gift that God has in store for us. If you were to take a pause and to look, God is a giver of the gifts. He, he gives gifts generously. God is a giver of life. God is a giver of gifts. His nature and character and attributes say that he is the very core of the giving. God gives his very best to us. He cannot act contrary to his nature. God is a giver of good things. God gives gifts. In, in the chapter, in the Book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, we will read, For God so loved the world that he gave, he gives, he gave the gift, 
he gave himself as a gift to us in the person of Jesus Christ. God gives us a gift and God desires that we need to position ourselves. God desires that we need to align ourselves, align ourselves to be in God's will so that to receive this gift. God wants to give that gift to us. So we need to get in line, get something so that we need to prepare ourselves, align ourselves, position ourselves to receive the gift of God. In the New Testament, we would see that Jesus goes to John the Baptist to receive the, um, the baptism. And Jesus was aligning himself to be one with God. And as after, right after that baptism, there was heavens open and there's a voice from heaven and said, Jesus was my beloved son. And the Holy Spirit came as a dove. And Jesus Christ was himself present. So that is a classic picture of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit aligned to get the best that God can able to give to us through Jesus Christ. In order to give, in order to receive God's very best, we need to position ourselves. We need to align ourselves. We need to bring our families and alignment for what God has in store for us. And it is very interesting because every time when Jesus traveled to Judea, Galilee, Samaria, and to the many places in the, uh, Israel, many people came. When people came, when they aligned themselves with Jesus Christ, they received healing. Imagine the blind Bartimaeus when he came in alignment, when he positioned himself, when he came in alignment, when he came and positioned himself before the person of Jesus Christ, he received his blessing. He received his sight. So many miracles are were recorded in the scriptures in the synoptic gospels. Whoever has taken time, whoever took time to prioritize, to align themselves, to position themselves to be with God, they received God's blessing and they received the God's very best. When we desire something from God, when we ask God to give something to us. The Bible says God is a generous God. God is love. He is looking ways to give his very best to his children. All we think is we don't ask and we don't align ourselves with God. And this morning or today, I wanted to remind you, if you're asking for something, if you're asking for a dream to come true, if you're asking for a vision to come to you, the first thing to remind yourself is to Wait upon the Lord and align yourself. Position yourself to receive the blessing of the Lord. Today, as you wait upon the Lord, the Lord is reminding us, position yourself, align yourself to be able to be in line to receive what God has in store. for you. God wants to give his very best to his children. I wanted to give you an illustration, a story. There was a five-year-old boy and he wanted to ask his father, said, Daddy, I want a good motorbike. A uh, motorbike could be many forms, especially in North America, uh, in, in Europe, in Middle East and Asia, and especially in Hyderabad. When I was growing up in Hyderabad, uh, the famous motorbike was available, was called In Suzuki. Some of you may know the word called In Suzuki or Hero Honda. So imagine this father heard the little boy's plea to get him a hero Honda as a gift. So the next day, the father went to the hero Honda dealership, paid a deposit, took out a loan for the hero Honda to be delivered. But here's the thing, the boy is only five years old. Hero Honda is ready, polished, ready to go to be delivered to the boy's house. The question is, is the boy ready for the hero Honda? It takes time for this little boy to grow up. It takes time for the little boy to be able to mature and grow and to learn how to drive. Once he's ready, the hero Honda will be ready. Sometimes we may ask many things to God. God says, done. But are you ready for it? Are you ready? If you're asking for something very big, grow into that situation. Grow into that place where you will, God will be able to give the very gift that you've been able to give, receive to all of us. God wished to give you a gift today. 
God wished to give you a gift to your family. What is the thing you need to do? Wait upon the Lord and aligning ourselves with God's will. Position yourself with the Lord's will. As many of you know that I grew up in, uh, went to Methodist Boys School uh, in hostel. Uh, we used to have a Christmas celebration. During the Christmas celebration, at the end of the Christmas celebration, you have to form a line, a long line. And the long line would lead, if you stand in line, once you get your turn, you would be receiving a gift. A gift was possible if I were to stand in the line. A gift would be possible. A gift would we would receive a gift when we stand in line. Today, God is reminding us. Waiting upon the Lord, meaning positioning ourselves, aligning ourselves with his plan, with his agenda, with his will. Once the will of God is complete, is imperfect. God wants to give his very best the gift to us. So this season, as you pray, intercede, and ask God, ask God the gift. God wish to give that gift to you. Position yourself, aligning yourself to be in the center of God's will. When the time is right, God desires to give the gift to you. Gift to your family, gift to your children. Whoever is watching, whoever has the capacity to hear my voice today, it's possible to receive the gift. Want a gift today? Ask him. Bible says God is a good God, a generous God who wants to give you the very best. First reminder, waiting upon the Lord, positioning ourselves to receive the gift of God. Number two, waiting upon the Lord prepares us for the great potential waiting upon the lord to see the great potential that god has built you up god has prepared you god has consecrated you and your family for a big cause for a special purpose jesus had many disciples they were following him but the lord jesus christ has selected consecrated only 12 of them 12 disciples were very special and they were called to Jerusalem. They were called to be in the upper room and Jesus said to them, wait upon the Lord. Just wait until the gift has been given to you. God prepares us. Waiting upon the Lord prepares you for the greater potential. Jesus Christ saw a great potential in all those 12 disciples. Today, on the based on the God's word, God sees a great potential in you. God sees a great potential with your talents, with your abilities, with your skill set, your education, your training, your expertise are needed for the kingdom of God. You have been chosen for a special cast. You've been chosen for a special task. You, there's great things near or want to be accomplished and God wanted to use you. You are very special. You're unique. You're wonderfully, divinely put together for a special purpose. Consecrate yourself. Preparing yourself. But because God sees great potential in you, God wanted to use you. God wanted to magnify his name through your skills through your education, no matter wherever you may be. You may be in, in Australia, you may be in Canada, you may be in the United States, you may be in India, wherever you are. God wants to bless you in proportion to your faith. God wants to bless you in proportion to your weight. Wait upon the Lord. Prepare yourself for the great potential that God has in store. Consecrate yourself. If you, may, if you have the Bibles with you, I want you to remind you Joshua chapter 3, verse 5. Joshua chapter 3, verse 5, we will read. God says to Joshua, to his people, and said, Today you consecrate yourselves, and tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things. Today is a day, today is a day to pray fast, intercede, pray, and consecrate yourself. Set a day aside to pray. 
And if you do your thing today, the Lord will do his thing tomorrow. The Lord desires to do a thing tomorrow in your life, in your family, in your kids' life, in your family, in, in whatever you may be going through. But today, consecrate yourself. Today, you take some time to spend time and wait upon the Lord. If you were to wait upon the Lord, the Lord would say, I will do amazing things in you in your life tomorrow. The Lord promises to do amazing and great things in your life, in your family life, if you choose to do this. Preparing yourself. When the lockdown continues, you wonder what to do. It's a challenge. It's a reminder for us to prepare ourselves. Preparing for what God has in store for us. Waiting on God to position ourselves. Second thing is waiting upon the Lord. Preparing ourselves to sing the great potential to be unleashed. 